Before you watch this video, subscribe now. You need a Phillips screwdriver to loosen this clamp. These are the two tabs that needs to be pushed out. This is the locking clip of the left side of the box. And this is another one from the right side. So remove those to pull the box out. Make sure that this clamp is loose. Carefully pull the rubber tube. Simply pull the locking clips. In order to remove these, simply push the intake box. Make sure everything is removed and pull the box out of the way. Pull the filter and look how dirty it is. This is how the lower intake box looks like. I bought this replacement air filter on the nearest auto supply store. You can also buy the original filter or the aftermarket washable filter. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. You can clearly see how dirty the old one is. Before you dispose the old filter, it is a good idea to take out the rubber seal around. It is a good material for any DIY purposes. This is the original Mazda filter. If you look closely, you will see an indication on how the filter should be placed. The replacement filter doesn't have any markings, which means you can install it in any way you want it to be. Simply wipe and clean out the tube and intake box to remove any particles. You can use a vacuum cleaner if it is really filthy. On the tube of the box, do not ever touch that sensor with your finger or cloth. That sensor is too sensitive and can only be cleaned by an appropriate cleaner. If you don't have any cleaner for that, just leave it. Install the new filter and make sure it is fitted well. Reinstall the box and the tube. This tube has a small guide. Make sure that everything is sealed and secure. The tube has a stopper for the clamp, so push the clamp all the way and tighten it. Once everything is secured, close the hood and call it a day. I hope you appreciate and find this video helpful. Subscribe now for more videos. Don't forget to hit like and click the bell to keep you updated. Thank you very much and God bless.